Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner, y'all, and this is Lime's Ares 2.0. Now, if y'all remember the original Ares, it was essentially Lime's take on the newest Chevrolet Silverado in console-friendly form. And this is essentially, think of this truck as the original Ares... HD Remaster plus 10, if that makes any sense. And yes, it comes with the dirt bikes. Now, obviously, the dirt bikes are not drivable, but even the fact that they're just there as a visual piece is so freaking cool. And it's pretty much one of the coolest ways you can set up for an incredible weekend. Now, this truck is in a pretty simple setup right now in terms of the engine, the transmission, the suspension setup, the wheel and tire package. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to fire it up and take a quick drive back to the garage where we can go fully through the customization and y'all can see what this thing has. Now, as we look around the truck, we can also see a couple of little details that Lime's added, such as the God of War design right there on the center suspension brace, and also, a really chassis brace, suspension brace, either way, and also, there are plenty of other little details that go much deeper than that, but... Also, in terms of console availability, as of the recording date of this video, this vehicle has not yet been approved for consoles, but it has the necessary files for all systems and should be available soon, as soon as it gets approved by the developers. But without any further ado, let's fire it up and see what it's all about. It still has that great sound, although it does sound like it's been kind of refined a little bit. I don't know. I could be wrong on that. I'm not sure if Limes actually did anything differently with the sound or not. But it sounds like it's been kind of, not even like the volume has been increased, but almost like it's been, like the quality of the audio has been kind of like sharpened up a little bit. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm hearing things, but I don't think I am. Now, before we get back to the garage as well, we need to give this thing the beans and see what it does under like just full wacky acceleration. So let's see. Three, two, one, send it. It's properly quick, but I will tell you, it's really well-mannered on pavement. I really dig it. All right, so here's the garage, and the map we're on, by the way, if you're curious, is Jensen Trails by Dubs, and it is available on consoles right now. So, engines-wise, we've got built, tuned, stock, and max built. The max built is going to be your absolutely nuts, wild, go-crazy engine. Um, the stock is going to be your vanilla engine, if you want this thing to drive like a vanilla truck, and the tuned engine is going to be somewhere in between. I really enjoy driving on the built engine, because that gives you a ton of extra power, but it's not so explosive that you feel like you're going to alter the Earth's rotation. Now, gearbox-wise, you've got the crawling transmission, the five-speed stock, the fast transmission, and the towing transmission. We're going to leave it on the fast transmission because it gives you access to all of the lower gear ranges while also providing the higher top speed. Now, suspension-wise, you got a really good amount of options here. You've got the stock one, which is fully adjustable. You've got flex, lifted, towing, and water crossing, which I'm going to go ahead and show you all that one, like, real quick because some of y'all will be very happy to know that this came back. Three, two, one, enjoy yourselves. Yeah, that's a thing. That's a thing. It's not quite as high as the OG Ares, I don't think, but it's still amazing. Like, the fact that it's here and it's an available option is absolutely delightful. All right, so we're going back in, and then we're going to get rid of the, let's see, the water crossing suspension. We're going to go over to the lifted suspension because now we're going to build this thing up a little bit. Now, the stock wheels and tires will go up to a 48-inch tire, and then you've got boggers, which go up to 48s. Actually, no, they go up to 57s. God, those are massive. Although, I will say, uh, the wheels as well are enormous. Then you have these, the stretched setup. Then you have the custom cut tires, which these are incredible. These are definitely one of the ones I would recommend if you're going to be taking this thing through any sort of mixed, like, mud, water, swampy terrain. These are amazing. They go up to a 57. Now, you've got proper boggers, and then you've also got swampers with beadlocks. These will go... 
anywhere. Uh, point the truck at anything and send it, and it'll be good to go. Now, these Maxxis tires, these are mainly a rock tire. They can be used in whatever kind of situation you want, but still, they're pretty much a rock tire. Then you have these Geo tires, which are a little bit different. I'm kind of back and forth about these tires. I know that they've been available on some trucks for a while now, but... I don't know. I don't have a lot of time, uh, I guess, using them on a variety of vehicles. So I still kind of have to try them out and form my own opinion on those. And then we have the Cut T1s, which are essentially agricultural tires for use in mud pits. So let's actually do a... I'm thinking we're probably going to go with one of the... Uh, the setups further up probably the uh 54 inch custom cut tires because these are like these are sick i mean they're gonna absolutely shred no matter where you go now you can also do a gooseneck hitch and let's see what are we gonna do we're gonna actually uh leave the rock lights the way they are and i'm gonna actually take the utv bed with the bikes off because i want to try a little bit of a different setup now that we're in here doing some customization we're gonna do the enormous bed stack the enormous like giant single stack and we're going to equip it with the roll call setup because why not um we're not going to do the toolbox because that will get rid of our stack and then let's see you can either do these bead locks in gold or silver we're going to do them in gold because it fits well with the red we got beans on the dash we got a nice red paint job on it and now it's time to try this thing out in a slightly different uh setup so let's fire it up and see what it's like now Well, the coal has definitely been turned up, that's for sure. Yeah, now you're gonna be, you're gonna be basically, well, basically blowing smoke no matter where you go in this thing. All right, let's, whoa! Did I mention that I upped the engine power to the max setting now? Uh, this, yeah, this feels, okay, this is a lot more similar to the original Ares now. Now that we've put the maximum power setup in it, it shreds. And it shreds like an absolute beast. Now, let's see. Where are we gonna... Whoa! Okay, we've got a swamp coming up down here at the end of this road. What we'll do is... Not this swamp. This is a puddle, especially for this truck. This is a puddle. So, we'll go through here, and then we'll get to the swamp at the end of the hill. Or at the bottom of the hill, rather. We'll give it the fullest of the beans that we possibly can through that swamp down there in high... And see how it reacts. Let's go. And if y'all have seen some of the videos we've done on this map before, you'll know that... Whoa! Yeah, you'll know that uh, most trucks will just spin if you put them in high through here. Yeah, uh, we rolled it. Uh, don't worry about that, though. It'll go right back to its wheels. Holy crap. Okay, well, while it was on its wheels anyway, it was moving. Let's see. Can you... Stop it. Why do you keep... Okay, thank you. I was like, why do you keep going to a winch point that is technically not there? Like, it's on the opposite side of where the truck is. Yeah, this, if you're looking for something to just obliterate mud pits, is, uh... It's up there. Oh, no! It's a little bit tricky with the maximum power setup to keep on its wheels. We got to take this thing out to somewhere like West Georgia Mud Park. We definitely will in the near future. I really wanted to see how it would do on kind of a, uh, like a map that's a little bit more of a sort of like mixed approach map. And when I say mixed approach, I mean like a map that's got mud, but also rocks, but also paved roads. And, you know, kind of as a general assortment, if you will, of different scenarios you'll find yourself in. So, ooh, easy. What's over here? Uh, main service trail? We got a camp to the right, and then, wait a minute. Oh, I know what camp that is. Okay, we're not going down there. We're not going down there just yet. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go, ooh. We should probably test the rock crawling capabilities of this thing as well. I know that there isn't a ton of, like, super gnarly rock crawling on this map, but we can definitely put it through its paces for sure. And we might be able to... We might be able to kind of, like, try some harder lines than we normally would if we just did the trail normally. I tell you what, let's just take, like, a really stupid line. A line that, like, not many people would take. And see how it holds up to that. Um... Yo, it's cruising. It's just cruising. What the? I'm not even on the trail. Oh, my God. What? <laughs> All right. Yo, I'm not even on the trail. Like, 
I, this is nuts. I mean, I'm back on a trail now, but as far as, like, rocks go, this, I mean, it's like, oh, a rock? That's funny. I forgot to care. You know what I mean? Like, it's so nuts. Okay, we're going to turn around real quick. Because this thing, this thing is on a level that I did not expect. I mean, I should have expected it with it being limes, but let's actually switch out to the flex suspension as well. Because I just realized when we were going up that rock, I was like, wait a minute, where's my flex? And then I was like, oh, I'm on the wrong suspension. That's why. Let's see how it does now. Oh, okay. Kind of a bad angle for that. I really want to test the flexibility of it, though. I need to find a good spot to test the flexibility. Maybe right here? Let's see. Oh, yeah. All right. That's a lot more than we had before. It might not look like as much as, say, for example, a dedicated rock crawler. But y'all got to remember, this thing is like a massive, massive quad cab truck. And it's really, really lifted. Like, it's very highly lifted off the ground. And sometimes that can take away from a vehicle's capability to flex as much as it could. So, considering it's lifted this high, the fact that it could flex as much as it can is really freaking impressive. We got a little bit of spinning going on. I deliberately put it in high with the truck at low speed to see how much we could do, like how much of that momentum we could recover. And it was able to do a really good job before it started to stall out, but admittedly that was more on me than it was on the truck because I chose to let off the throttle a little bit. I wanted to know how much we could like let off and then get back into it. Yo, I love how it will pull the front axle up when it, uh, when it jumps out of the mud though. Like that's so sick. But if y'all enjoyed this video, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. And if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button to turn those notifications on. And I will see y'all next time.